anterior, forward, and caudal. And in the lateral view, the apex is caudal. This is not really caudal and towards the sternum. So this lead us in the RV just above the apex, slightly near the anterior wall just above the apex. Now here's another lead. The AP view looks exactly the same as the previous lead. But when you look at the other views, it is fairly obvious that this is not at the apex. In, in the right anterior oblique view, it is going down, like I told, it's going caudally, but it's hardly going anterior at all. If you were to go anterior, you would go towards this border. You can see the same thing here in lateral. It's going down, but it's not at all going towards the sternum. So this is in the RV. It's just gone straight down somewhere near the inflow of the RV. That's why in the right anterior oblique, it's hardly gone forward. So the, the uh, next point that I want to make here is that the anteroposterior view hardly shows the apex. So this is the first lead, this is second lead. Sorry, this is the first lead, this is second lead. This lead is near the apex, this lead is nowhere near the apex. So just using an AP view to find the apex will not be adequate. So that's the first point. The second point, right anterior oblique, the apex is anterior and caudal. Now, this lead is caudal, but it's not at all anterior. This lead is anterior, reasonably caudal. So this is near the apex, this is nowhere near the apex. Lateral view is probably the best view to see the apex. The apex, Provided the heart is normal and the lungs are not hyperinflated, the apex will be virtually touching the sternum. So uh, the, the apex is near the sternum and directed downward, provided there is no hyperinflated lung in between. That's in lateral view. Now the RV apical lead, our idea is to get the lead as close to this spot as possible because that's the most heavily trabeculated part of the right ventricle. So this part is usually the caudal most and the anterior most aspect. So this is how an ideal apical lead would look like. It will go down the dome of the diaphragm in right anterior oblique. It will go almost till the anterior border of the heart in right anterior oblique. And in lateral, it will look like it is virtually touching the sternum. This is how it will look like in other views. But the, view, the other views per se are not really conclusive of the apex. The, the only two views which will tell us where the apex is, is the right anterior oblique and the lateral view. In, in, in practice, it's sufficient if the RIO looks good. If the RIO, but if there's any doubt in RIO, we must check the lateral view. Whenever it is anterior but not caudal, please cross-check with other views. So this is a lead that was left here. This was anterior, but you can see that it's not gone caudal. This is the AP view, and this is the right anterior oblique view. But uh, once we get to the other view, see that it is nowhere near the apex. So if you get a lead which is gone anterior but not going caudal, not going down and crossing under the diaphragm there. Please make sure you check the other views. This lead is absolutely nowhere near the apex. It's far worse than what the uh, uh, right anterior oblique and the APV suggests. So this is what has happened to this lead. It was going down towards the apex. Somewhere